finance is broad, okay? And, and some schools offer programs that offer broad perspective in finance. Uh, we at EDEC have a full suit of finance programs that are specialized. So, so, so students can specialize in, in a specific direction on specific topics. When we are talking about financial engineering and the MSc in financial engineering, we are talking about quantitative finance in a sense. We are, we are, we are talking about managing money, either from the buy side or from the sell side of the industry. So this is quantitative, this is finance, this is about financial products, this is about models, this is about pricing products, this is about managing risk and products. Uh, if you aim at a position uh, as a trader or as a structurer or as an asset manager, there are two ways to do it. There are the ways where you just get the varnish and then you appear as someone who knows, kind of. Are you really the one who puts your hands in? And this is what financial engineering is about. Instead of just selling products, I'm producing the products. I'm answering, finding solutions to client needs in capital markets. So that can be in trading, that can be in structuration, that can be in risk and asset management. But the idea is that you have the tools that will allow you to provide the solutions the clients need. So what is a successful career? I mean, this is important. This is our duty to students. This is what we, what we offer them. Come to the MSc in Financial Engineering and then you will have the opportunity to build the career that you're looking for, okay? So, so what, what do I mean by that? Which career would the students who apply to the EDEC MS in Financial Engineering are looking for? They are looking for a successful career in the sense that they are going to achieve their goals as long as they are in line with EDEC goals. EDEC goal is this one. Let's make an impact. Let's make an impact on the industry. Let's make an impact on future generations. So how, how can we deliver that, that, that making an impact capacity? I think this is a mindset. You, and this is about competencies. So, so there are two things. First, competencies. Students need to have the, 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 the knowledge and competencies that will allow them to change the industry to change the jobs, to change finance in a sense, in the right direction. Now, second, to be able to do so, you also need to have the right direction. And we do provide that direction. It has to be useful. Useful in which sense? Useful to whom? Useful to society. Useful to your clients. Useful to the planet. Okay, so what are we going to talk about in, the, in this program? We are going to talk about retirement solutions. I do think that if you provide better retirement solutions to individuals, but also to society, you are making an impact. Okay, we are talking about green investing. If asset managers change the way they invest the money while keeping their portfolios relevant, then they are going to make an impact. Impact on their clients, impact on the business, impact for the planet. So, so you have to, to, to be trained both ways. You need to have the core competencies, finance competencies, but you also need to have the right type of mindset. You need to be aware of the consequences of your acts. So let's try to make sure that students leave this program with the right tools and the right mindset. And these tools evolve over time. The mindset has also to evolve over time. What we were teaching in this program 15 years ago is not the same thing that, that we teach now. 
the world has evolved, the industry has evolved, the needs have evolved, and the programs has evolved. What differentiates a graduate from the MS in Financial Engineering from other graduates? I, I, I think they have always somewhere in their brain this motto, make an impact. I should make an impact. I should have a positive impact. I should be aware of the consequences of what I, I, I'm doing. And so, instead of simply looking at the tiny things that I do, I keep a broad perspective. I am part of a whole, and, and, and I need to be bringing everything around me to take them in the same direction. So I would say that, that, that these edX graduates will try to be extremely collaborative and take people with them. We, we would call them leaders. I'm not sure this is, this is the word that I, that, that I wanted to put there. I, I think that they are, they are community players. So I think that really edX graduates are community players. And if you add the, the, this kind of collective play with talent, ambition, and competencies, then you have leaders. But, but you need to have all that, and this is what we deliver in this, uh, this program, I think. All students will graduate with the, this kind of specialized degree, MSc in Financial Engineering, but with an additional specialization. Okay, so, so, so first, they will start the year with the core courses, fundamental courses, advanced components that all students should master. So uh, content in asset management, content in derivatives, in fixed income, in tools such as empirical methods, programming, applying. And then you say, well, okay, so I have the, the building block, I have the core. Now, where would I like to apply it most? And so, so this is why we created three tracks because, well, you would like to give everything to every student, but, but then you would need to keep them 10 years here on the, on the campus. We can't do that. So, so we'd say, okay, now, and, and some students have an appetite for something and some others have a, an appetite for something else and, and everything is e equally interesting, but they just, let's, let, let's feed them, uh, let's give them what they are looking for. So, so, so we created, three very strong tracks. I mean strong, it means that this is significant. This is not just some varnish and say, well, okay, you had a course in, in one topic. So these are four courses that will make you some kind of, of an expert in the field. So, so we have three tracks. The first one, investment solution. Second one, quantitative trading. And third one, alternative assets. So, so and then, then stu students or, or people may say, okay, yeah, does it mean that if I'm in a track, I can't have the knowledge that is delivered in another track? Obviously, we don't want to do that. We, we, we don't want to, to build silos. We want to, 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 to bring in some additional expertise for some students. And then we say, now, if you want to pick up a little bit of the other tracks, if you want to expand your knowledge set, then pick up electives. And so, building block at the beginning, the core component everyone knows. Second, you have these tracks, significant, four different courses, specialization, four different courses that makes you an expert in a field, and then either expand to other tracks or expand to other topics that you may want to, to learn that makes you kind of special. So personalized program for you because you're the one building up your, your academic path within the, the, the program. I think this is this whole ecosystem that makes this program what it is community of players, alumni, corporate sponsors and partners, external lecturers, practitioners, faculty, and the students.
they are part of this community. I think this ecosystem is essential for our students. With that, you are sure that, that the students, when on campus, acquire the competencies and the mindset that will allow them to make these smooth moves in between academia and industry. Should, should someone ask me what I'm the most proud of as, a, as academic director of this program is that this is when, when I see my student succeeding in achieving their goals. And, and achieving their goals is, is not only a successful career. That, 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 that is a given. They need that. You need a successful career if this is what you're aiming at. But you need more than that. You need to have a successful life. Okay, and so what I'm the most proud of is when I, I see the success of my students in building this successful life. Successful careers, top position, top jobs, but more than that, they are at ease with themselves. They are, they are aligned with their principles. They are aligned with their objectives. This is when I see the, this alignment in my, in my former students, then, then I say we can be extremely proud at the deck to have, well, given a little bit of that, help them achieving that. Because when I see that, when I see the successful career, obviously that they build it. But, but well, I still think that, that we have a a tiny part in that uh, as a school, as an environment, me personally, as a professor, as the academic director of the program, well, we gave a little bit that helped them achieving their, their, their goals.